Hi everyone. I have a quick video for you today to show you the art that I've done in my dictionary. A few months ago I joined a Facebook group called Dictionary Art Journalers and it's just a fun place to uh, get inspiration and share what you've done. If you're the type of person who likes to draw or color or even stamp and color images and you like to do it on book text, um, this is just a fun way to do it and keep track of it all in one place. And so all of the dictionary art that I do will be done in this dictionary. And so I just wanted to share with you, I have just a few pages done uh, so far, but I wanted to share it with you and um, hopefully inspire those of you who are interested in doing the same type of thing. So the first one that I did was um, back in April and it's coffee. And what I like to do is circle the word on the page. This is the page that has the word coffee in the dictionary. And then I also stamp it um, with some letter stamps down here or somewhere on the page. So that's the first one I did of uh, the coffee cup. And then the second one, actually I think it's back this way. Yeah, the second one is a bluebird. And this is very similar to the bluebird that I did a watercolor video on. But um, I just enjoyed drawing him so much, I decided to draw him again in my dictionary so that I could have it as part of this collection. And uh, this was drawn from a photo on the internet. Uh, the coffee cup is just drawn out of my head. <laughs> I wasn't looking at anything really to draw that. Okay, the third one um, this was also done in April. Okay, the third one is a painted bunting. And I drew this in April um, from a photo that I found online. And my inspiration for drawing him was that I saw a painted bunting on my bird feeder outside. And I hadn't seen one in, gosh, probably 15 years. And so I was just thrilled to see this little colorful, colorful bird out there. He's, they're just beautiful. And um, he came back every day to my feeder for about a week, maybe a little over a week. And then he was gone and I'd, I haven't seen him again. But it was certainly thrilling for me to, to see this colorful bird again because I've never seen another bird that's quite this color, colorful. I'm having a hard time saying colorful. <clears throat> anyway, anyway, that's a painted bunting. Okay, the next one I did, hold on, that's not it, this is it, is a sandhill crane. And years ago when I lived in Tampa, we would have these huge sandhill cranes come up in our yard and wander around, front yard, backyard, you know. One day I opened up the front door to go out and get my mail and there was one standing there like three feet from my front door and it scared me because <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see it but um I took plenty of pictures of those while I was in Tampa and um so I used a photo of one one of my photos that I had taken to draw this one and um I really enjoyed creating that and that one was done in May and then this last one I just finished yesterday and it's a dragonfly that I drew from a photo I took in my yard the day before yesterday. I took the picture. So I just loved the, the, the picture so much. And this little dragonfly was just so cute. And so I sat down that same day and started this, uh, this drawing and um, finished it up yesterday. So I just wanted to come on and share... It's really fun to to draw in a dictionary and just to have it all in one book in one place. And at some point, I may <clears throat> I may alter the covers, you know, to say that it's dictionary art, so that nobody picks up an old dictionary one day and throws it away. <laughs> I want people to know that there's art inside. But um, 
<clears throat> it's really fun, and the pages are really thin, and in my dictionary, they're, they're the thinner pages. And so I use colored pencils to uh, do the coloring, and I blend it with a little um, odorless mineral spirits and a paper stump, and it just blends out beautifully, and uh, it looks like it was, you know, done with a marker or something, so... That's what I do, and it's lots of fun. I also used some uh, Micron uh, pens, like to to draw the wings and to outline the uh, dragonfly. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put a link in my description for the uh, Facebook group. So, if any of you are interested, come on over and um, and request to join. I'm sure you'll be approved, and you can come in and get some inspiration and, and visit with some of the people in, in the group. It's a lot of fun, like I said, and um, I think you'll enjoy it. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with some more art for you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.